As coronavirus infection rates explode across the country, experts are pushing state and local leaders to vaccinate more people faster. The CDC says nearly 9 million Americans have received their first vaccine doses. That's only about one third of more than 25 million doses distributed. And tonight, the federal government says it wants states to vaccinate more people. As Danny Monteverdi tells us, that comes as local leaders look to open mass vaccination sites when supplies increase. Cars continue to pull up here to the Mahalia Jackson Theater for mass COVID testing. City officials say the next fight in the battle against the virus will be mass vaccinations, and they're now looking to create sites similar to this to make that happen when it's possible. Mass vaccination sites are already popping up in places like San Diego, Miami, San Antonio, and Phoenix. City Hall says similar scenes could soon play out here, and officials are calling for volunteers to help staff vaccination sites. For us to achieve herd immunity, we need like 70, 75% of folks vaccinated. That's a huge lift. So we really do need everyone, A, get tested and get vaccinated when you can. Jefferson Parish is also working on plans to open mass vaccination sites when the doses are available. You know, I think it's gonna be more than the pharmacies and the hospital systems can handle. And we have the resources to help with, you know, all the all the traffic or, you know, just the support of tents and, um, those things that to do big volumes that we're ready to help. Meanwhile, on Tuesday morning, the federal government said states should now vaccinate anyone older than 65, as well as anyone who's younger with serious health issues. We're still taking a good close look at that, and, and it's going to be some time before we announce uh, any changes, if, if at all, uh, to our approach uh, with respect to priority groups. Health officials say they can create all the testing sites they need and have all the vaccine they need, but they need people to take them for them to be effective. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Well, St. Tammany Parish says it doesn't have a plan right now to host mass vaccination sites.